Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Paper Gaming News, where we cover paper games, paper computer games, and anything from the universe of paper computer games. At the bottom you'll see which category each item is, so let's get to it. Yahoo News covered a kid who made a Game Boy uh, out of cardboard and paper, which has Super Mario Brothers on it, which, well, just look at it. This thing is awesome, and unfortunately, the creator doesn't seem to have a YouTube channel for me to shout out, and, and unfortunately, YouTube doesn't always cite their sources, so it was kind of hard to figure out where this came from. Always cite your sources, folks. But luckily, some folks in the comments found the original video. It actually came from Instagram, where this guy from Venezuela says a kid named Ruben who goes to his church name. Unfortunately, that's all we know about it for now, so I'll just have to direct you in the description below to that video. There's also another channel on YouTube that which has gotten quite a few views and seems to have remade the same thing. Chris, the original creator of paper computer games, is back with a new mysterious paper computer game. We just did the first video episode where I play as a reporter for one of those magazines about mythical creatures, you know, Bigfoot kind of stuff. I come to the small Appalachian town of Gumbucket to find a creature known as the Gulf Whip. Alright, I will uh, go over and talk to this individual. Okay. I'll say hello. Uh, my name is Adam Vermilowitz. Have you heard any rumors about, uh, Gull, uh, Gull Whip? The Gull Whip. Gull yeah. Whip, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, every once in a while people come through here. Uh, I'm only beginning to explore the town and its mysterious townsfolk, and to sink my teeth in the, into this mystery. Stay tuned, folks, and hopefully I'll find that Gull Whip yet. Salmon the Fish released episode one of the series Evil and Good, which is actually the second episode because the first one was episode zero. The episode digs into the backstory of Planet EG and introduces the hero of Jay, who stands up to Maniac, the evil guy who trapped all the people in this simulated world. The episode raises a lot of questions, too, so many that I made a theory video where I predict Jay is actually working with Maniac and is his creation. Only time will tell for sure, so be sure to watch both episodes as well as the theory video before episode 2 comes out, which should be really soon. Everything is in the description below, of course. Well, Flamespot has been working on his OP RPG series, which started as a one-page PCG competition that I did with Salmon the Fish. This was his entry for it. The game has grown beyond that original one-page installment, and in the latest episode, Smee was captured. Well now, Flamespot has released a new video, a LEGO animation, which shows how Smee was kidnapped in the first place. The video is awesome and you guys should definitely check it out. It shows Smee and his buddies in a bar with some folks behind the bar who... Hmm... I have reason to think Flamespot has another really cool project in the works which might have something to do with PCGs. Stay tuned, folks. The channel Doodle with Naomi made a video announcing she's working on a paper game called Worlds. In the video, she only shows the cover, so we'll see how the game develops, but it sounds interesting. I made a short paper computer game for Via's birthday called Locked. The game is about someone trying to get out through a locked door and he's trapped with four beings known as One Of. Via made a prequel game to her first paper computer game, The Ogre and the Princess, titled simply, The Ogre and the Princess, The Prequel. The game has you play as Princess Gaia's horse, and you witness the princess being kidnapped, and now you have to convince the king that she's been taken. The game diverges a bit from the paper computer game formula to have more story scenes and less time that's actually playable for the game, but that means there's more time for story, which is definitely a good thing. The channel Super Duper Terabyte made a paper game called Fallout 54. The game lets you play as a bunch of different characters, including Ugly Fugly Hitler. 
or you can make your own character. The game is set in a Fallout future and lets you collect weapons and armor. That's all the paper gaming news I've got for now, but stay tuned, there's a lot more cool stuff on the horizon. All the videos I've shown are linked in the description below. If you know the name of a cool paper game or paper computer game or anything that you think should be included in the next episode of Paper Gaming News, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, folks.